Welcome to Lauren's Money Tips, where you'll discover insider secrets on how to save time, energy, and money when buying, selling, refinancing, renovating, and maintaining your home. This episode is brought to you by Lauren Andrews of Dominion Lending Center's Expert Financial, the number one mortgage choice for GTA homebuyers. Now, here's your money tips. Okay, today we're going to talk about habits that hinder your success. To achieve your dreams of wealth and fulfillment, we need to learn all sorts of new skills. But even with those new skills, we still may not succeed if we have a bunch of bad habits holding us back. So the first step is to eliminate habits like these. Here are five evil habits that can kill your wealth. Wealth killer number one, procrastination. When we're afraid of success or failure, we sometimes do everything we can to avoid reaching the point where success or failure can happen. For instance, when we're starting a new business, we spend all our time on office furnishings instead of generating clients. We're so afraid we won't be able to get clients, we avoid even trying. And that guarantees failure. Wealth killer number two, screen time. Sure, social media and the internet can be valuable networking and research tools for starting a business. But most of us spend way too much time online getting zero accomplished. Don't confuse activity with productivity. Limit your online hours only to productive uses and you'll have tons more time for work, family, etc. Wealth killer number three, quitting. The temptation to quit is the strongest right before you succeed. That's the point when you've worked harder and longer than ever before and don't think you have anything else to give. But as long as you're moving in the right direction, giving it one or two more tries may be all it takes to succeed. Never give up. It ain't over until you win. Wealth killer number four, negative thinking. When negative things happen, we tend to feel lousy. So we're always vigilant for negative possibilities in order to avoid them. But concentrating on negativity makes us pessimistic. So we stop seeing all the opportunities and signs of progress around us. Instead, start paying attention to all the good and productive things that are happening. And soon, you'll see a whole lot more of them. Wealth killer number five, pointless spending. Most goals require at least a little money to get started. But most people spend every cent they earn on the latest fashion, car, tech toy, or vacation. None of those things will move you closer to financial security or self-employment. So instead, start investing in your future. So there you have it. I've just given you five wealth-killing habits to steer clear of. For more information on how to use your mortgage to accelerate your wealth, call us today. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Lauren's Money Tips. If you have any questions or comments, please call Lauren today at 416-276-6445.